Corey, uh, I, I know you had a big day, but team-wise, it, it's a disappointment. Any chance there's a hangover after the emotional wins and then the matchup with Pittsburgh? Um, no, I mean, every week is a new week, um, and we understand that. We just came up short. Um, flat out, we just didn't play good enough to, to go out there and win, and we got to clean up a lot of stuff, and, you know, that's what we're going to do this week. Jim? Hey, Corey. Uh, I guess, what's the feeling as far as you guys start 5-0, and now you've given two back. How important is it to get this thing nipped in the bud and, and right the ship quick with a tough schedule coming up? Yeah, um, I mean, the most important thing is, is, you know, not to panic. You know, it's a long season, and we understand the type of guys we got in there. Um, you know, we're not front runners, and it's as simple as, you know, going back to work. Um, it's a new week, a new opportunity, and, um, you know, I know these guys are, are ready to go. We're fired up, and, um, you know, it's a new week. Luke? Corey, you all were uh, with a worse record, but in, in a similar situation last year where – Clearly, there was a lot that needed to change and get fixed back when you all were two and four. What was it that, that sort of springboarded everything back then and kept you all together then? And do you apply that at all to what's going on now? Um, <clears throat> I mean, back, I know back then the, the thing, like I said, was, you know, not to panic. Um, I mean, we lost and um, you know, there's no other way to cut it. You know, we came up short and... Like I said, there's a lot for us to clean up. Um, yeah, I mean, that's all it is. You still believe in, in this team? Is there still a belief even after a loss like today? Yeah, I mean, 100%. You know, we're not panicking. Um, like I said, we got a lot of guys out there who, who've been down before, you know, not only in this game, but in life. And, you know, we're not front runners. We're going to go out there and we're going to handle our business, do what we got to do this week, and, um, <clears throat> you know, get ready for Chicago. TV. Yeah, Corey, with the preparation and lead up to this game, uh, Ryan Tannehill said you guys had some discussion about it not being a letdown game. Is that something that, that you recall? Not being a – excuse me? Sorry about that. A, a letdown game, like a game where, you know, you overlook the opponent because of their record and, and you don't take them as – as not seriously, but, you, you know, you take them for yeah. – the threat that they are? No, I get you. Um, I don't know if that was the approach we had coming in, you know, to this game. We try to treat every game, um, you know, we try to come into every game prepared and, and, you know, try not to look, overlook our opponent. Um, right. I mean, it, was a, it was a good team. You know, we, we got to give them the credit. Um, we didn't play as good as we should have, and they showed. And, you know, any given Sunday, <clears throat> um, you got to go out there and you got to play no matter who it is. How do you guys regain the confidence or, or, or maintain it? Because I don't think you lost it, you know, judging from your comments earlier. But how do you maintain it and spin it forward and play with the swagger that this team normally plays with? I mean, to me, the confidence comes from your preparation. And um, I know the team we have, I know the staff we have, <clears throat> um, we're going to prepare like no other. And I know that. And um, we just got to, you know, come at this week prepared and, and ready to go. Um, like I said, with no panic and just stay poised and, you know, we'll get our confidence back. Thank you. Brian McKeegan. Hey, Corey, you guys were able to move the ball, but you were unable to finish today. What was that frustration like of seeing those drives stall? Yeah, <clears throat> um, I mean, we were moving the ball. We just, you know, we won't really finish and drive, like you said. Um, and it can be frustrating, but. I mean, that's just something we're going to have to work on, and we understand that. We've got a lot of work to do this week, and um, we're going to get through it.